hello welcome back to my channel if you're new welcome in today's video i'm going to continue reading through the document titled the pyramid code we are on uh this is the ninth video in this series we are on page 27 of 44 in this document so we're pretty far in i would highly recommend going back and watching the previous videos uh before getting into this one you can find those videos in the pyramid code playlist and in the consciousness beyond uh 3d playlist all right so there's some links in the description box below i would check those out uh if you're not subscribed and would like to subscribe uh, I, this is not the only information i share on this video i share information just related to my own experiences um on this journey of awakening and now uh, ascension so individually in consciousness as a whole so let's get into this uh, the if you have already downloaded a copy of this and you're following along because you're making notes uh, I'm on page 27 and this section is titled technology of the Pharaohs the pharaohs began to take control of everything and slowly began to rule the earth. <clears throat> they tried to create a new spiritual world. They needed to preserve, protect, and develop the tools that they used for their work and the vehicles used for transportation for future generations. The pyramids were part of the structures used for just this purpose, which is why we see pyramids in different parts of the world. The pyramids were not built solely as tombs. They were built to protect and preserve the various tools and spaceships that the pharaohs used. <clears throat> the pyramids were built using physical and spiritual tools that could control and manipulate gravity. Such tools were used to lift megalithic stones to build the pyramids. The stones were carved out of different mountains using laser technology. The pharaohs brought new technology into this world that provided them with the ability and power to control human beings. The term EFM or EMF stands for electromagnetic field. Electromagnetic fields are part of the earth as well as our bodies. <clears throat> it was and still is a phenomenon that naturally occurs during creation. However, modern day humans have changed the various frequencies and waves in the earth by despicable, corrupt, and abhorrent technology, which has caused the largest spiritual void <coughs> excuse me, that we have ever experienced. The corrupt man manipulation of Earth's electromagnetic field is currently causing mental and spiritual sickness and disease. One sec. All right, sorry about that. Um, the pharaohs brought with them a different form of technology called electromagnetic pulsation, EMP, and electromagnetic laser pulsation, EMLP. In the Fatasol language, EMP was called uh, Megan or M Magen, Magen. I don't know how to pronounce it, but it's M A G E N. And EMLP was called uh, Mag Magia, M A G I A. Both of these names translate to shield in English. This technology gave them the ability to build massive pyramids. <clears throat> Underneath these massive Structures are very large basements that house the tools and technology used to make them. Originally, there were 666,666 pyramids on Earth. Today, we are left with fewer than 100,000 pyramids of different shapes and sizes. Most of the pyramids built in the world have been destroyed over time, not by man, but by a supreme power. In the years following the Exodus, <clears throat> The age of the pharaohs came to an end and they, along with their technology, technology, mostly disappeared from the world. There are still a small number of the deluded offspring of the pharaohs that are living among us today. <clears throat> they are recognizable by their body and skull structure as they are the remnants of the pharaohs and still have some physicality or some physically distinctive features. Some of their technological devices were stolen by people unknown to me. What I do know is that the world elite have access to this technology, which poses a big threat to the entire universe. <coughs> Excuse me, if it is in the wrong hands. EMP and EMLP are technologies 
<clears throat> that can destroy a country like the United States in less than an hour without warning. I'm not sure specifically who possesses these devices. I am also unsure if some governments have this technology. I have a feeling and believe that outside of the world elite, Israel and Russia both possess this technology. <clears throat> I do not think that the United States has it just yet. TLS has similar devices that I saw through my work with him over the last 10 years. EMP is capable of neutralizing atomic military systems. EMLP is able to disintegrate entire cities in seconds. This technology can build or destroy anything based on the intention of its operator. To my knowledge, no one has found the hidden basements under the pyramids just yet, but I am sure that they are still there. Some of the machinery and equipment that is stored in those basements include aircraft, spaceships. They are huge energetic tools that need to be recharged by the sun every thousand years in order to function. There are no batteries. These machines work primarily through the use of the sun along with magnets, even the magical staff, or the magical staff that we read about in ancient books works with the same energy. And these staffs can change the Earth's gravitational pull with respect to a specific object at any given moment. These staffs even have the ability to provide a person with the power and ability to shapeshift, as long as that person was born with the proper genetics in order to do so. These staffs can also cure various diseases. Some of the tools and machines I'm speaking of are under the dome of the rock in Jerusalem. They were hidden there by Mano and Gamma before the destruction of the first holy temple. I want to interject here again. If, if some of this is resonating with you, but you're having a difficult time grasping, check out the link below for the show on Gaia. Uh, as I've mentioned in previous videos, uh, Intuition, a journey to the center of the, it's either Earth or Universe. Check it out, it explains a lot. All right, so although these energies and tools can be very helpful and necessary, they can also be very destructive and threatening if used by satanic and corrupted human beings. The power of the pyramid and the pyramid code depends quite a bit on these tools and the energy they can create. These tools were created by aliens they were not created naturally by the Creator, which is God. They have been used for thousands of years, but to my disappointment, they fell into the wrong hand. I hope something will happen soon to remove this threat from our universe forever. I believe that in the not distant future, the right people will rise who will neutralize the power of evil and come to find the treasure that lies beneath the pyramids in the dome of the rock. I believe that the knowledge will be exposed to the people and the world will come to the true fifth dimensional consciousness of the divine self. Whoever does not reach the fifth dimension will simply become extinct from this universe and will not reincarnate anymore. This means that even their spirit or soul will no longer exist in any capacity. Those who shall survive shall thrive and eventually shall reach higher dimensions, even as high as the ninth or tenth dimensions as a collective communal awareness. In my opinion, these are the days of the Messiah. Messiah being Jesus, the power and the wisdom of God. And I wanted to mention, um, so based on my current understanding, we entered into the trajectory of ascending to the fifth dimension back in 2012. And we are currently on that trajectory. And that is where we will remain based on my understanding how long it will take to get to that dimension the new earth etc i don't know this is fairly new to me without within the past couple of months but there's plenty of information uh, out there if you're interested um in in discovering kind of the the great awakening uh and kind of the trajectory of the earth. You know, there are people, individuals, star seeds, um, light workers, individuals like that um, can better explain. So if you're interested in, go, in going that path, I would recommend just doing some research. Uh, okay, the next section, a new age. <clears throat> In those days, there, were wide, there was widespread use of spaceships. 
there was a continuous connection between the various stars and the divine self, between the spirit world and the human spirit. The early pharaohs were completely vegan. However, as time went by, they were influenced by humans who corrupted their minds, souls, and bodies through the use of forbidden foods and forbidden actions. Instead of interacting with animals, they started eating them. Even the lions of the royal palace were naturally vegans. Wherever Fatisol landed with their spaceships, they created a superior culture with the leadership of justice and love in order to spread the power of the spirit and the teachings of the spirit. Initially, Pharaoh ruled the nation as both Pharaoh, the king, as well as the spiritual leader of the nation. Over time, as the nation grew stronger due to their natural culture, happiness, and wealth, they divided the task among the other Fatisol beings. <clears throat> Excuse me. One was a ruler of the nation, Pharaoh, while the other was a na nation's spiritual leader, high priest. Although Fatisol were housed in a physical body, they were granted perfect spiritual freedom, which completely liberated them from time and space. Because of this divine consciousness, they could move freely between stars and galaxies without the influence of time and space. In other words, they were able to experience the past, present, and future simultaneously. This means that if we are released from the limitations of time and space by true and pure spiritual consciousness, we can lead ourselves through our consciousness as our soul desires, whether it is, in, it is to a physical or a spiritual place. This is done through the purification of the body, the mind, the spirit, and the soul in such a state of consciousness within the fifth dimension in a state of gamma or higher we can reach even higher levels of being just like the original Fatisol of the original divine race and pure offspring used to do. Their capabilities had no physical or spiritual limitations. For them, there was no such thing as here or there or we or they. They were able to differentiate between different perspectives of the one and only reality, which is the beingness that everyone is eternal, that everything is eternal. Everything is now, everything is here, and everything is one, and we are all one. This is the divine consciousness, which is the God and the divine self of us all. The consciousness, even today, will bring us to the highest places. You know, as I, uh, this paragraph, it mentions, uh, the gamma state or higher, which is interesting because, uh, not too, I think it was last week I had a dream and, uh, I talked about that one of my videos having this dream and I was on the phone with my sister and she told me to be careful of the gamma rays and <clears throat> in that moment I saw this like bright light above my uh, in my mind's eye but you know above my uh, left ear right about here above, by my left eye and uh, and the light got brighter and brighter I don't remember at the moment what else happened within that dream but I did create a video on it so uh, kind of stuff happens quite often now all right so let's see all right so we can move with or without a body we can leave our body and even levitate with the energy of our body without a magical staff electricity or even an external battery it is all done through our bodies our thoughts our brains our hearts our souls and our love for ourselves and others, as well as the one and only eternal creator, God, love is power. Our power is incomprehensible. It is power that has given us the ability to build pyramids and spaceships to heal humanity and the people closest to us. However, today we are imprisoned in a time and space devoid of love, peace, spirit, purity, and freedom. One second. All right. <coughs> Baraka is a process that can bring just about anyone who wants to invest in themselves to touch the sacred light and become a supernatural being just as a great rabbi AA, Adam, the pharaohs, and the high priest were. We can create spiritual or physical contact between all the beings throughout the world, no matter the physical distance, whenever we want through complete, united, and perfect consciousness. I know it sounds delusional, but it is doable. Fatisol lived in this way and acquired a level of power that is incomprehensible to us today. Baraka must be renewed, and this time it will be accessible to anyone who wants it. 
Imagine living in a world without time and space, without walls, without borders, without wars, without disease, without vaccines, without toxins, without drugs, and without doctors. A world of love, and brotherhood, and harmony. A world of happiness, wealth, eternal abundance, and equality. A world without a false religion and a fake book of laws that controls you. A world in which you are the law itself. A world of justice, a world without false rabbis, false priests, or any other corrupt religious leaders. A world without corrupt lawyers and without corrupt judges or politicians. It is doable. It has already happened and it will happen again. It is better that it happens today rather than tomorrow. We are already on our way to the age of love and the era of endless information and consciousness. We are not far away. In an instant, we will learn the mysticism of water, the mysticism of the spirit, the power of, of the woman, the power of thought, the power of the soul, the power of prayer, the power of forgiveness, and the pyramid code with the codes revealed. This can all happen right here, right now, with full transparency. In our most connected and true form, we are able to identify with every living being, mentally, spiritually, and energetically. Imagine talking to animals and loving them instead of eating them. Regardless of our personal ideas and wishes regarding this transition of an error, it will happen. This energy will express itself as it is the manifestation of the energy emanating from the divine source and from the collective divine self. With the help of God, this will all happen in the near future. The power of collective unity will always accompany us and help us in the most difficult times. Once again, I am writing all this information from my memory of my near and distant past. I had special teachers and grand spirits who instilled energy within me that is still incomprehensible to me. I hope that I and those close to me will be blessed with the process of Baraka, which for the most part I am not familiar with due to the fact that I cannot remember what it consists of. I have a longing and deep yearning for the days in my past, the days with Rabbi A.A., who was my teacher, my father, and my rabbi, along with beings like Adam and Fatahotep, who were able to instill within me wonderful abilities and memories to this day. They were great and extraordinary spirits and souls. It feels good to share my stories with those close to me. It would be, it would feel even better if one day all my information, including my wonderful experiences, energies, and stories, including the book, Rays of Light, would be shared by all people. With all of the codes revealed, full transparency, I just hope it is not done with animosity or judgment, but done with happiness, justice, light, peace, and love. I know this day will come better today than tomorrow. I hope to have the right guidance and energy to move forward with my colleagues and loved ones. Love without differentiation, unconditional love. Uh, love without judgment, love without fear. The creative power is embodied within us at any given time, in every possible degree, and in countless possibilities. The embodiment occurs within us through a vibration, or through vibration, movement, and frequency. The stronger and shorter the waves, embodiments, the more we move away from the concept of materialism within our consciousness. So long as we live in a limited and impure body, with a limited mind and a closed heart, we will not be able to reach the level of consciousness I am writing about, the fifth dimension or higher. I know that today it is difficult for us to understand the guidelines to this consciousness, because the waves of thought and the waves of ideas within us are limited due to the lifestyle that we live, along with the way we were raised and educated. We must take small step towards a grand goal. The entire universe works and operates through all pervading frequencies, vibrations, short and long waves, including the divine power in the entire universe's energy. The radiations and energies that I speak of have shaped and continue to shape us as human beings. The very same energies shape the fatasol that live within our communities who have been assimilating in our communities for eons and eons. Frequencies, waves, vibrations, positive radiation, and various energies are tools in our possession to move within the physical and spiritual universe. They also offer us indications that something is out of balance. They show us when the vibrational signals in our body go astray. They also give us the power to move and guide the world according to our desire. Of course, this is a process that takes ages according to our limited understanding, but it is doable and the time is coming. The day will come when my memories prove to be true and real, 
The day will come when humans will discover and control everything, even the most majestic knowledge. The day will come when perfect consciousness will propel us towards the eternal light. We are close. We are already in the journey towards the age of love, the world of truth. I feel like I've drifted a bit and went into subjects we may find difficult to understand. However, I feel that historical, internal, and spiritual knowledge is essential in order to understand the essence of the pyramid code and its eternal code for eons to come. All right, so I'm going to end the video here. Again, after, so we're on page 31 and 44 now. So there's a few more <clears throat> videos left in this particular piece of um, work in this document, the pyramid code. And then I'm going to start reading from... Uh, are reading The Rays of Light, which Jason Sharka has released on his website. Um, it's mentioned in the document that we can uh, share the information, uh, which is what I'm going to do and provide any commentary that comes through downloads or whatever, any insight um, based, you know, just based on experience, Revelation, correlations with Neville's teachings, etc. Um, taking a culmination of kind of the knowledge that I have, the uh, experiences that I have. So I'm not just going to read through the document um, word for word without, you know, discussing, um, you know, some some things that are going on within it. So. That is it for today's video. Thank you so much for joining me and I'll see you guys in the next one. All right, bye now.